Hello everyone, welcome again to our youth service. One week to go! Oh my gosh, Christmas na! Hindi ko alam na kung feel na feel nyo na yung Christmas vibe. Di ba? Parang paglabas na paglabas mo palang, lalo na paggabi, may mga Christmas lights. Ayan, actually, sobrang favorite ko yung pag dumadaan ako sa mga, alam mo yun, uh, kalitas meron silang mga Christmas lights. Ang ganda tignan. Pero the same time traffic, di ba? Huwag kong ramdam nyo na, yung mga, well, yung mga lumalabas na. Kasi alam ko, for sure, yung iba dito, lumalabas na kayo, di ba? Ramdam nyo na yung traffic, like, Grabe, kung dati, as it, saglit lang, five minutes, nasa pupuntan mo na ikaw. Pero ngayon, ayan na, ka, nararamdaman nyo na. Pero the same time, sino dito, naaamoy nyo na ang kastanyas, ang puto bumbong, ay, nako po. <laughs> ang bibingka, di ba? Wow, diet is shaking talaga, di ba? Pero, alam naman natin, syempre, pagdating ng Christmas, pagkain ang unang pumapasok, aminin, kaya nga diet is shaking, di ba? But on a serious note, I don't know, to some of you, no, maybe yung iba dito sa atin, um, nasa wandering stage ka kung paano mo celebrate ang Christmas this year. And maybe some of the reasons, <clears throat> kasi maybe you are still recuperating, no, with all the loss, you're still grieving, or maybe you are still recovering from the challenges na meron ka, or actually, hindi lang ikaw, pero even with your family, or maybe, alam mo yun, feeling mo, meh, wala lang. Alam mo yun, parang, ito na naman, papa, uh, Christmas na naman, papa, same, same, so, so, ganyan, ganyan lang. But, my prayer is that, as we hear the word of God um, today, tonight, I don't know kung kailan mo maririnig to, no? you will have a change of heart and perspective about this season. So as we talk about this word or the word of God, my prayer is that we will have new beginning. Yes, and ang ironic, no? Kasi December, so last uh, month of the year. Pero I am really declaring that there will be new beginnings in our life, especially today, especially tonight as you hear the word. Now let me read from Isaiah 9, 6 to 7. It says here, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. And he will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice. And righteousness that um, from that time on and forever, the zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Now let's pray. Holy Spirit, have your way in us. We lay everything at your feet, Lord. And Lord, we are expectant in receiving from you this um, time as we hear the word of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now just a quick background about uh, this uh, chapter or this verse that we are reading. Now, Isaiah lived in three, actually, or more, uh, anong tawag dito, parang generations of king, like in king, of, uh, king Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, actually, even Hezekiah. They, they were kings of Judah. And in these days, no, during these days, the kingdom of Judah, or the kingdom of Israel, was threatened by the rising of conquerors. So, like, ang daming gustong sumakop. So, that reason pa lang, they are so afraid. They thought na parang, alam mo yun, Nako, kailangan nating makipag-alliance, makipagkampihan with other kingdoms so that hindi sila makonquer. It was really a great time of political unrest. The kingdom of Judah or the Israelites felt powerless. And they were afraid because as if alam mo nagle-level up yung mga kalaban, tas sila na lang yung hindi, as in parang wala, dun lang sila. And hindi nila alam if God is actually for them or against them. Or worse, God abandoned them. They thought na whoever na kung sino yung king, alam mo yung parang hopeful sila na parang sana yung susunod na king will be able to save us from this, will be able to have that peace, alam mo yung peaceful life that they are actually dreaming or praying about. But Isaiah is saying, hindi, it is not. And so Isaiah prophesied this. Ito yung sinasabi niya, yung sagot sa mga 
uh, kuro-kuro na meron kayong sagot sa mga pinag yung pinagpipray ninyo. Isaiah said that for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulder. In short, the kingdom, the, the rule and reign will be on his shoulder. Now, two chapters before this, and we've talked about this two weeks ago, uh, during our week one ng series na to, no, he spoke about Emmanuel, God with us. Then now, he was talking about the word becoming flesh. Hindi lang puro pangako. It, now, this um, prophecy signifies the presence of God with us, Emmanuel, God with us. But at the same time, hindi lang siya mere, alam mo yun, parang word or sinabi lang, promise lang, but it is actually becoming a, or it would become a reality. Kaya nga sinabi, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and he will rule and reign us. Now, if you would imagine yourself, no, ang dami mong gustong mangyari, ang dami mong hinihiling, ang dami mong naiisip na sana, sana naman, mat- matapos na tong mga pinagdadaanan, or even yung kung ano man yung meron ka dyan, no, and you want a king or a leader who will save you. Now, Isaiah was telling them, alam nyo, yung king na to or yung <clears throat> child na, or yung savior na ipapanganak, he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Prince of Peace, and of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no and so he was telling, Isaiah was telling to the people, God did not abandon you. God did not even forget about you. Actually, he is doing something, through, although you may not be seeing it, but God is moving, God is doing. And same goes for all of us. Even today, we may not be seeing it as if, alam mo yun, parang literal na nakikita natin, but know this, that God did not forget you. God actually is so mindful about you. That's why when he called Isaiah to prophesy, nasa isip ka na rin ni Lord. Imagine mo yan, oh wait lang, parang thousands of years ago yun. Coach, paano yun? Well, God. <laughs> he can do that. He is God. Naisip ka na niya. And this child that he was talking about is for the benefit of us of us sinners, of us believers. Now, we will go through some fork roads in this journey, but we have a wonderful counselor who will teach us the right way. May mga rocky road, may mga seemingly impossible journey, but He is a mighty God. He is a sovereign God. Think about all of those impossible things, things that you can ever dare think of. God can do the impossible. And maybe you will feel rejected, abandoned, or whatsoever. He is also our everlasting Father. But I want to zero in with this attribute, itong Prince of Peace. We will be talking about this more, and I'll be sharing more about this title or this attribute of Jesus. Now, Prince, it simply means ruler. Ruler or um, a king, a chief, or talaga in short, the one who will rule and reign. Now, peace, and we know this, it means shalom. It means a whole. Nothing missing, nothing lacking. But at the same time, let's go or dig deeper. God is so intentional that when He gives peace, He was thinking about all essential parts joined together with His gift of wholeness. Our faith, our identity, our purpose, everything, yung essential parts joined together. In short, this peace guards our heart from, from which the wellspring of life flows. It guides and guards us. Hindi lang ikaw buo, but at the same time, it will be a journey for you to experience the gift of God, the gift of wholeness from God. Remember that living a peaceful life is not actually living an easy life. Hindi ibig sabihin na parang pag-peaceful life ay eh madali na. No, there will be hardship, yes. 
But a peaceful life is living with Jesus. As simple as that. A peaceful life is living with Jesus. Di lang drawing si God, hence the Word became flesh. The wonderful Counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace became flesh. Kaya nga in Luke 2, ito na, fast forward from the Old Testament now to the New Testament. Same word for unto us, unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior because they were believing. They were actually um, um, uh, Isaiah prophesied that it will come from the throne, I mean the lineage of David. Now, sim- ito, imagine mo, Luke was telling, for unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, yung katuparan na yun. Who is, who is Christ the Lord? And this will be a sign for you. Alam natin to, nakikita na natin to. Actually, meron na mga, oh, may nakikita na kayong display nito. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly, there was, an, there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. It only shows that God is a promise-keeping God. Why? Because the word prophesied during Isaiah's time became a reality after so many years. Imagine that God is so patient na yung timing inantay din niya. He could actually do it. Alam mo yun, wow, parang si Thanos lang, di ba? Biglang, andyan na. But the timing of God is so crucial. Pero hindi siya paasa. Hindi kanya kinakalimutan kasi simula pa lang. He wants you and me to be reconciled to Him for us to fully experience His goodness and faithfulness. Yun yung Prince of Peace na sinasabi natin. Yung peace na yan is actually a reconciliation with God so that you can be made whole. We are reconciled with God in true covenant relationship with Him because of the finished work of Christ Jesus on the cross. That's why now we can actively interface together with Him. Meaning, hindi lang natin sinisinsong si God. Alam mo yung pa... Alam mo yun, yung mga moment na nakita mo yung Bible, hindi lang siya naka-display. But you are actually communing with God. Or hindi lang din natin siya tinatawag kapag may kailangan tayo. But we are actively communing with Him. Kaya naman, the peace of God flows in us. The peace that we have or that we can have is an expression of God growing us in Christ's likeness, resulting to righteousness. Kaya nga sinabi ko kanina eh, na hindi ibig sabihin that you are living a peaceful life means you are living an easy life. No, there will be challenges. But even if there are challenges, even if there are a lot of temptation going on, even if there are a lot of problems, you can still be made whole. Why? Because each time we obey and we live by the word of Jesus, by the word of God, we grow in God's approval, which results to the deepening of His gift of wholeness in us. As we grow with God, as we journey with God, we are growing in God's approval, okay, not man's approval or men's approval, but by God's approval, which results to the deepening of His gift of wholeness. In short, by faith. And without faith, kasi, we cannot please God. Kaya nga, even in this time of itong mga challenges na ginago through natin, or even ko ano man meron ka, we can still grow. We can still have that peace in our heart. Question, what is your reality that makes your faith divided? 
Minsan kasi inisip natin, lumalayo si Lord eh. But talaga ba si Lord ang lumalayo or tayo? Question, what is your or what are your present realities that makes your faith divided? Is it the unemployment of your parents? Kaya you don't have a good life? You feel like you don't have a good life or you will not have a good life? Sickness ba yan? Either ikaw or a family member and you are believing that mahil pero as if wala pa rin? Or are you experiencing fear of the future? I, you don't know what will happen in the future. You're doing whatever you can but it seems like bleak pa rin ang future. Is it persecution of your faith? Alam mo yun yung nangihina ka na? Kasi feeling mo, Lord, nandiyan ka pa ba? Parang, alam mo yun, ikaw na yung nagsiserve kay Lord, but it is as if wala pa rin nangyayari with your family or even with your situation. Are you feeling lost? Nilalamon ng takot? Alam mo yun, daming pangamba? Or, Di mo man maamin, pero maybe you're hard on yourself. You're too hard on yourself. Or you tend to compare yourself to others. Or maybe yung iba dito, yung present reality mo, ay loaded ka talaga sa school. Ang daming kailangan gawin, ang daming kailangan ipasa. Parang Christmas break na, pero as if wala pa rin break. Alam mo yun, natawag lang na Christmas break, drawing lang. Gusto mo mag-break, pero wala. Kasi daming tatapusin. Or... School plus work. Kasi al- alam ko dito, yung i- maybe ilan sa inyo, you're working student. Grabe no, nag-aaral ka na, sobrang hirap na, pero you have to work. Kasi you have to help your family. Present reality mo, sobrang pagod. Ka na physically, emotionally, tako spiritually, dry pa. Or maybe, sa dami ng binanggit ko, wala dun. But you know someone who is going through something. Remember this, the starting point of living or living a peaceful life is surrendering everything and receiving the rule and reign of Jesus in your life. And it's not too late. Kaya nga prayer ko kanina, new beginning eh. Because maybe our present reality consumes us or consumes us and we tend to forget the rule and reign of Jesus Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. We tend to rule and reign in our life. Again, the starting point of living a peaceful life is surrendering everything and receiving the rule and reign of Jesus Christ in your life. Peaceful life does not mean absence of chaos or absence of problems. No. Never mangyayari yan. But the starting point of living that peaceful life is living with Jesus Christ. It is actually an exchange of wretchedness, of brokenness, into a life of wholeness. Imagine mo, God is giving you that wholeness, that gift, in exchange of your brokenness and wretchedness. Great exchange. Why? Because God loves you so much that he is so mindful of you even before and this god produced wholeness increases or it is increasing from receiving faith and living this faith as we commune and journey with god kaya nga si lord hindi ka lang niya hindi lang niya tayo binibigyan ng shalom or yung wholeness as if as if ganyan lang one time big time hindi ganoon it is also kaya nga he needed it yung mga essential parts together so that as you go through life, you will experience the deepening of that wholeness, that gift that God has given you. And His promise is, His grace is sufficient. The same grace that saved you is the grace that will sustain you. Alam mo, God's hand is not too short to save. As we call upon Him, I'm telling you, he will answer. And God made known to us His plans of saving us and sustaining us. 
Imagine the word became flesh. Hindi mo kailangan gawin ni Lord yun eh. But He doesn't want you and me to stay like this forever. What God wants us to experience is a life that is whole, buo. He's, he did not, he, he's, he's not just, alam mo yung parang thinking about saving us from sins. That's one thing. But he also wants us and s- to sustain us with his peace. That gift of wholeness. As I end, it says here in Luke 2.15, When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. Question, will you go to Jesus and surrender your present realities so that you will experience that peaceful life? Jesus is so gracious to save us, to rule and reign in our lives. But at the same time, he is so loving and kind for us to ex- so that we can experience that wholeness. The yung kabuuan natin. Walang kulang, walang nothing missing, nothing lacking. Remember this. The starting point of living a peaceful life is surrendering everything and receiving the rule and reign of Jesus in your life. Let me repeat the question. Will you go to Jesus and surrender your present realities so that you will experience that gift of wholeness? It is a journey, by the way. It is a journey. And you are not alone in doing so. We are here to help you and guide you as well. I am just so excited how the Lord will reveal this gift to you. Let me pray for everyone. Lord, we thank you because this gift is so available for all of us today. Actually, Lord, I know that you are calling each one of us by our names, Lord. You are doing something. Lord, kumakatok ka sa bawat puso na nakikinig or nanunood ngayon. Because your, your desire is for us to experience that peace, that shalom, that hindi lang yung, kabu- uh, yung pagkabuo namin, pero you want us that all p- essential part for us to experience that will be joined together or meet together so that as we go through this journey, Lord, I know we will become victorious in whatever obstacle we will encounter. Lord, I pray, Holy Spirit, that you will have your way. You will reveal who you are and your plans and your purposes for your children. We know, Lord, that you are our wonderful counselor. You are our mighty God our everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Maraming salamat, Panginoon. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, as we take this time to worship, I want us to surrender those present realities that makes us divided. Kasi ang gusto ni Lord, buo ka sa Kanya. Buo ka with your faith to Him. Let's worship.
Thank you so much for joining us. I hope the word encourages you today. If you need prayers, please do message us. By the way, you can actually follow us also in our social medias. We are in TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, sige ko ano pa. <laughs> Reels, ayan, shorts, whatever. And we hope to see you soon in person. Bye!